Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Full Media, Part 25, Moving Forward. In today's episode, we set out to work further with our shadow and light and dark compositions. These were snippets four, five, and six, if you remember. And we had some ideas. And so one of our ideas was to put four and five together only. And that idea worked great because we kept trying to work with the four, five plus six, and it just doesn't sound right. And our reflection is that the shadow plus light plus dark is disjointed. The dark component still felt like last year's composition. It's not consistent with the other two parts. The shadow and the light by themselves felt consistent and pleasing. And there's still some dark elements in there because after all, it is the shadow scale. So we ended up making a shadow and light score only of 32 seconds. And it has a very playful energy. Let's play a little part of that for you. Here we go. This is shadow plus light. And we took out all the spaces and pausings and we actually got a nice consistent structure. Uh, so that was cool. Uh, seven shadow, sh seven dark, blend of minor major shared, twos, fours, and fives with, um, in the line lengths, which gave us a syncopation. And as we said, it gave us what we felt was a playful energy. What we ended up doing with the dark standalone is we, well, with the dark, is we created a dark standalone. And to get there, we went back to our figures. Remember these things? So we decided, well, let's just listen to those and let's make a standalone that consists of rolls. And we remembered how we worked with syncopated backbones here. So listen to the syncopated backbone here. And that was, you just heard the flip from minor to major in there. Uh, and so that was happening. And then when we went ahead and we picked, those, we picked those syncopations out by picking the beat. And then here, of, of the first part of each element of the roll. And we got syncopation by using elements that had three rolls, like this one. I mean three notes and elements that had four notes, which are on the beat. And we had elements that had five notes, which are past the beat. And this, this gave us something really cool. And so we felt that that one has a, uh, an urgent energy. It's kind of on edge with intent. And we created that whole standalone three, four, four, three rolls to work with. So then we were kind of bouncing around. And one of the things that we emphasized when we came in, we had re-listened to the shadow plus light plus dark, and we were feeling it was disjointed. At the same time, we've been interacting with two other projects where this whole meme of hybrid tech is very much on our minds. And we were also reflecting that as part of hybrid tech, it takes three things or more to go nonlinear. So here's three things in a row, which is still linear. But if you take one of them and move it out of the uh, line of the other two, then you are suddenly going nonlinear and things can get very interesting. So here we are doing a composing series that includes hybrid tech in the sense of full media expression, diapason, and then we're working with, that's element one, then we're working with another group and a third group. And that gives us three groups where hybrid tech is, is a common meme theme. So we actually jumped out and took a little bit of time to record some of that. And a reminder 
our working definition, hybrid tech means combining tools in optimal ways by playing to their strengths and mediating to their weaknesses relative to the use at hand. In other words, a combination that's good for one purpose could be lousy for another. So after we thought about all that, we said, well, gosh, uh, we made recordings. We said, let's we, we said, let's make some recordings of our score. So we made a recording of this score and made a recording of that score. We did that that kind of thing we did for the recorder trio. And then we said, I wonder if we could slip them together. And <laughs> we did. So we're going to show you this composite movie. We used a shadow plus light composition here that sounds good by itself. And we used the all dark standalone, the brand new one that you just heard. we were just playing for you. And we're going to um, start at the beginning and play this for you. And then we'll wrap us up. Here we go. So we think that's pretty cool. And in order to do this, we had to learn further things about how to synchronize stuff. For example, in this case, this file we used, uh, what did we do here? Well, we used something here. We, uh, we learned more about how the playlist works. These are not cumulative times. These are individual times for each scene. And, and then we had to, we had to use, here's a one and a quarter start time offset. And this is a, oh, this was the one. We had to offset the second MP3 by 32 seconds to wait till the first MP3 got done. And we'd never put two MP3s that went sequentially before in a music animation. So that was kind of cool. That was kind of cool. So, our ideas for next time are, we'd like to share that movie we just showed with you, with others, and then now we're kind of thinking about a D-flat 1, 3, 3, 1 composition, and especially after today's experience, you know, the good old 2B determined, because what really happened was we did not plan on, on making that composite movie. It sort of came up in the in the work session the idea of doing that had not planned it yeah but again thinking stepping back and thinking about our other work and the hybrid tech theme and all that sudden kind of condensed again oh why don't we try another one of these animations uh, another cool thing is that we ended up with something that's basically 58 seconds long and we know that 30 seconds is not enough to keep it's it's 30 seconds is enough to catch interest and then leave people kind of grumbling about wanting more if 60 seconds again seems to be the sweet spot and then we do have something that's over two minutes and we're going to try and testing that too and ask them you know do you like the 60 second do you like the two minute 20 or or what anyway anyway that concludes today's stream tune in next time to see what happens. We appreciate your attention and interest. A shout out to Rezer. And as always, keep on streaming. <laughs>